Hey, little one. Hey, no, 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 no need to answer. I, I just wanted to come see you. It's been about two weeks since, well, our little argument. <laughs> little, right? <sighs> Who am I kidding? It was a bloody mess, wasn't it? Don't, please, don't look at me with those eyes. We're both well aware that we hurt each other. And I hate what we've become. So I wanted to talk about us. About our future. And what we're going to do now. Look, I, um, I need you to know, I never wanted to hurt you. And I know you wouldn't want to hurt me either, it's, at least I like to think that it's not on purpose. That's what I keep telling myself. But then I hear our voices in my head and it's always repeating all the things that we said all the things we can't take back and I I never thought I'd ever get angry at you maybe mad or frustrated or annoyed but never angry and it hurts when I see the hole in the wall that I made, I can see the fear on your face. I can't get it out of my head anymore. The way that you looked at me, the way that you were screaming. I can't forgive myself. But at the same time, you used... All the things that I told you about. All the secrets that I trusted you with. You used that to hurt me. <laughs> you know, deep down, I thought I was better than this. Better than my parents. But here I am, doing the same thing they always did. Fight and then try to make up. Fight again and again. And I don't know how to feel. I don't know how I should feel. Because I still want you. I still need you. But I'm scared of you. And I'm scared of myself. And I can't forgive you. Nor can I forgive myself. And it's so hard and complicated. I... I'm not here to condemn us to hell or anything. <laughs> Truth is, I really do want to make things better. But I don't want to go rushing back into a relationship. I don't think I want that. Nor am I ready for that. The trust that was once there is not there anymore. The safety. That was there is not there anymore for both you and for me. And I'm not going to come here and force back into a flawed relationship. I want us to work on being better. I want us to work on things together. I don't want to come here and beg for forgiveness. I want to earn that forgiveness over time. And I don't want to just start repeating a cycle of being and then breaking up and then fighting and then... Things need... Sure, I'll listen. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. You're right. Well, if you believe that, then so be it. If you think you can't face me, then sure. I never wanted things to just magically go back to normal or magically fix itself or just go back to how it was. I wanted to talk to you to decide what we'll be doing from now on. If you want your distance and you want your space and you want your time, I can fully understand that. Yeah. And I gotta get to work soon. <laughs> it was nice talking to you. I'm not sure about you, but it's been on my mind. And I felt like I needed this. It's a massive way without hope. Yeah. You know I still love you, right? That won't change. I know saying that now is like a massive low blow. I need you to understand that. Nothing takes that away. All we've done, all we've been through. No one and nothing can replace that or erase that. I don't want you to make your decision off of that. I don't want that to be a factor. I just don't want you to hate yourself or... No. I don't want you to blame only yourself. Because I'm to blame as well. Well, <laughs> this is normally where I'd get a goodbye kiss, but... I guess not, huh? Well, take care of yourself. Forever always and all that. Alright. Okay. Um, so. I've done an argument where the listener is wrong. I've done one where I am a complete douchebag. <laughs> and now I'm doing one where... Both are wrong and dealing with it in their own ways. I'm not sure if this is what you wanted, but I kind of felt like you may want one where they get back together. Ignore the truck. <laughs> Yeah, but that's not my personal view on how things should work. And if you know me, I'm a firm believer in making things just to get a massive amount of views that goes against my moral code. I think if you are consistently fighting your other half and having drama all the time, something is fundamentally wrong with the relationship. And instead of forcing it to work, taking some time apart to work on rebuilding it, that's all right with me. I don't like the idea of forcing a relationship to work. If two people really want to make it work, they'll make it work. But I'm also against the idea of surviving it in a very toxic environment. I want this audio to be a means of setting an example for people, like a guideline of how to deal with things in a more healthy manner. You're not gonna break up and then get petty and go sleep with his best friend 
or you're not gonna break up and block them and then go date someone else in a week. You're not gonna break up, fight with them, get back with them. Um, I can't remember, so I'll just say suck his dick and him kiss your ass just for a month so that you guys feel like you're changing and then two months later you're fighting again. I want to set a example of it's okay to take time apart. It's okay to say you're not good for me. It's okay to say I'm not good for you. It's okay to say that I'm not ready to date right now. I don't think I can anymore because I trusted you and you broke that trust. Okay, it's starting to get really noisy outside. Um, I keep saying I'm going to stay up long enough, late enough to record at night when it's not noisy, but I keep passing out around 12. And it only ever gets like dead silent here around 11 at night. So, man, without coffee, it's really hard for me to, to, to ruin my sleep schedule. But I have to if I want to be able to do my recordings at the perfect time. Oh, um, I should probably stop talking now. This is before this gets really long. Uh, yeah, before I start rambling about coffee for thirty for for four minutes straight. <laughs> okay, um, that's enough for me. I hope you enjoyed the content. And did you know that seventy eight percent of the people watching this right now? And not subscribed. Yeah. If you've made it this far in the video, please leave a like and a comment down below. As for your subscription, I'll be playing you in a friendly game of rock, paper, scissors. The rules are simple. I will go rock, paper, scissors, and then shoot. Upon shoot, I will announce what I went. And if I won, you're not obligated to subscribe. If I am lost, you're not obligated to go down in the comment section and rub it in my face. If it's a tie, you know, obligated to meet me here tomorrow to play again. But if you're already subscribed and I win, that means you're obligated to hit that notification button and press all notifications. Why? Because stuff like notifications, comments, and like shows YouTube that people like and enjoy and interact with my videos so they promote me more on the Discover page. Okay? Let's go. Rock. Paper, scissors, shoot. Today I went paper. That means if you went scissors, you just won. If you went rock, you just lost. Alright guys. Um, continuing with my comfort videos on my stuff. This is not really a comfort video, I guess. It's just more of a... I don't know how... I don't know... How I'm gonna, yeah, me. It's almost six minutes. End the video. It's the same length as the audio. Okay, bye. Bye. Hi, I forgot to say bye bye. So I'm here to say bye bye. Oh, bye bye. Bye bye.